baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong, and I can't think without you. Yes, I know I messed up the lyrics, but the lyrics are perfect for the announcement that came out this weekend that the DC Bullet is back. Yes, the DC Bullet is back as the primary logo for DC. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And when right after they made the announcement, uh, a lot of artists were chiming in. As Tom, as Dan Jurgens put it, what is old is now new again. As uh, Chuck Patton put it, it's like saying hello to a long lost friend. And I am so glad. I mean, the DC Bullet was so iconic, uh, designed by the same person that did I Love New York logo. And you think about it, they've never changed the I Love New York logo. It's, they've never changed it. It's still iconic. Just as the DC Bullet was so iconic, and I really I hated it when they changed it, and, and their excuse was so fucking stupid. And you think about it, they did that like we need to have it so we have more for our going to visual media, and it just doesn't work. Well, you know what? Take a look at any Marvel movie when they started doing the Marvel movies, and it started with the doing the page flips of old comic book pages. And then it pulls back, and it's the Marvel logo, and it was the exact same Marvel logo we all know from the from the 70s and 80s. I mean, that was Marvel basically just pulling out their dick and slapping it on the table. Okay, that was such a boss move. And how did DC respond? We need to change it for this one that looks like a page that's flipping. Like, no, you had a perfect logo and you fucked it up. So I am so 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 glad. That they brought it back. I'm very happy. I hope that they put start putting it on all the books again. But more importantly, they gotta fix what's going on inside the books. So, but I'll get back to that in a moment. Oh, quick programming note. Uh, congratulations to Cody. He got seventh. This was his highest finish of the season last night. Uh, anybody who's on the chat knows I was watching the race during the ch during the show. And I'm so happy for Cody. In fact, as soon as uh, uh, we were done with the chat, I went downstairs. Miss Stippling already had the race on. So we went downstairs. I was downstairs. We watched it. Uh, as soon as they were done and they announced what the unofficial results were, I took a picture of the TV with a scoring loop and uh, Fox programming alert, Cody. Is set, it got seventh, his highest of his career. I'm so happy for him. So, but, and going back to, oh, also, uh, to anybody who was on John's long box this morning for his uh, comic book flip through, uh, if you're watching this, if you're, thank you very much for uh, watching my video. Um, I hope that you will give me a like. I hope you'll comment, and I hope that, uh, you like what I'm doing with stippling while talking, and it results in me getting a subscription and earning that subscription to you. Okay, but again, if you, even if you don't subscribe, a comment and a like go a long way for a small channel like mine. So, um, I wanted to touch on something was announced this week or last weekend. And that is the new line of comics from DC called Absolute DC. Um, first and foremost, I don't like them labeling it as Absolute. Okay, I, didn't, I really didn't care for uh, uh, Marvel when it did the Ultimate line. And I, again, I just don't care for it. The, calling it Absolute for me is like there's no, there, there is no Plan B. Uh, we can't back down, which we all remember, that's what their attitude was with the new 52. Uh, I remember interviews saying there's how one of the, one of the guys behind it was like, there is no plan B. If, if we fail at this, uh, I, I'll, I'll, you'll, you'll find me be, uh, attending bar somewhere. And I was kind of like, mm, no. And what happened? New 52 was 
a short uptick in sales, but then became a flop, and they had to retool it for rebirth. And so for me, it's one of those where it's like, calling it absolute, I don't care for it. And more so, I don't care for their take on these characters. Um, first and foremost, they've already established right off the bat that with these uh, new versions of these characters, they have no support system, which really bothers me. Because what made these characters so strong and so relatable was the fact that they had a supporting cast. They had a support system, which the support system was basically the character's Jiminy Cricket. Okay, that way, if the if if a character was straying too far from who they are, you had the support character to rein them back in and basically be their verbal conscious to remind them of who they are and to give to, to help us remind be reminded of who this character is and the reason why they're here. And by having this, it's just I know we live in such a narcissist system. Uh, society, but that, that's that's a problem. Having such a narcissistic society is a problem, and to advocate and encourage that by having these characters without a Jiminy Cricket character um, is is a problem. It's a big problem with me, and I just don't I don't see this new line catching on. First and foremost, um, for me, there. There's nothing organic about these characters. Uh, it's it's all obvious and, and forced. Um, it's obvious to me that their takes on them is basically uh, Frank Miller's take on these characters. And while as a standalone story it may have worked, but overall in the long run, Frank Miller's characters don't work okay they stray too far from who the character is and as a nice taste of what could be or an elseworld style tale okay but as an ongoing thing it doesn't work at all um it just the whole thing with like batman basically as a frank miller ripoff um I, I i i right away when i when they made the announcement i was putting in chats or, or commenting on videos that it, Batman essentially you can tell they're they want to basically a pro wrestler playing the character um, he's like a Jack Reacher okay we all knew Jack Reacher as a Reacher and, and Pro, Amazon Prime was a hit uh, that's what they want to go with which I it just doesn't work for me and on top of that um, you have Superman without his parents and I'm sorry we already have that story Marvel did it with Hyperion when they did their uh, supreme powers I think the line was it was uh, basically a relaunch of the squad and supreme they did Hyperion and they did Nighthawk and J Michael Straczynski did Hyperion and they had it where it's like he was he was giving actors to be his parents and how they didn't get along and they were afraid of him and you can see where without proper guidance you get a you get the most powerful person on earth without he's not grounded he's not he's he's going he's going to be constantly viewed as an outcast he's not going to be able to fit in with society and i'm sorry we've already seen that story it's called Superboy Prime. Dumb. See, this is the reason why I'm always referring uh, to Jim Lee as the publisher of DC Comics as Jimmy Lee. I just It just irritates the hell out of me that he thinks that this is a good, good thing. I mean, you can tell that he basically is like, he's not the one at the ranks. Okay? Higher ups like James Gunn and the people he answers to they're all the ones making the decisions and he's just like yep, okay okay he just cares about himself and just getting his paycheck he doesn't care about dc 
And that's why I always refer to him as Jimmy Lee. Because it's like, stand up. Stand up on your own two feet. Be a leader. Or if you're not going to be the leader, step aside. So, but no, that just really comes down to like, I, it really bothered me how their takes. Now, the other thing that also is now the one thing I kind of looked at like could work is they have Batman with this huge hulking body like a pro wrestler, so he's all roided up. And then you have Superman, who's younger and slimmer. The nice, nice, nice little haircut. The, the bangs of his hair fall down on his face. No. Okay. First of all, um, what really bothered me is they gave him a really muscular build. Superman doesn't need a muscular build. He gets his powers from the sun, from an alien planet. Um, give him... A, give him a, I, I know that soccer is, it's growing in popularity, but still not completely popular, but give us a Superman with like a track and field build or a soccer build. Make him shorter, make him thinner and slimmer. That will make a greater contrast between this hulking Batman and this slim Superman. And Superman having so much strength and power that he doesn't need a severe physique. Okay, I'm not saying to make him fat. That's just stupid. I mean, we have saw we saw those as like hokey books from the 50s and the early 60s. No, give him give him a soccer player's build. Make him slim. Make him. I know you can already tell by looking at the images that they want him to be uh, shorter. Than Batman, so that that's primary. And I really don't even have a take on Wonder Woman. Um, the best version of Wonder Woman, in my opinion, was George Perez's version. Um, after George stepped away from the book, I really didn't have a reason to pick up a Wonder Woman comic, and I never have since then. Um, not even with the New Fifty Two, with uh, Cliff Chang did it. And they did it where she's a demigod. It just didn't see. I was like, no, you don't need to. You had the perfect version. Just expand upon that with what George did. But they're going to do what they're going to do, which means they're going to screw it up and screw up a character. They're going to screw up a character. I mean, it just it's what they do. And with what they're doing by calling it an absolute and these versions of the characters, they're not. They weren't created by a creator. They are created by a committee sitting around a table that don't know or care about superheroes. So they're not going to get my money. So, And you already take a look with, with the snippets that we've seen from James Gunn. You can already tell that he's uh, going back and looking at older DC. And that says a lot to me that they are going with the older DC, not looking at any of this new stuff. So if, and again, we all know that the sales aren't going well. So if the sales aren't well as a comic book, don't do it as a fucking movie or a TV show. You already know that it failed once. Don't do it again. So, but, so, but yeah, I was I enjoyed John's long box today. Um, I try to chime in as much as I can but it's always it's like an hour before I'm here at the bar and while today I I left the stream on while I was coming into the bar normally I just turn it off because of the TVs and this and the music so but hey uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video as I was working on the oh this piece that I'm working on this is I'm going to pull back Okay, this is my own piece for Monster Island, and you can see that the the aliens from Alien Alamo have made their way onto Monster Island, and they are just overrunning the island, and so you have your characters fighting for their lives. One thing was really cool is this is one of Graham's character. Um, this is Rooster, 
And I already designed Rooster here in a, you know, with his, his cape and tatters and he's shooting his guns. And here I did this and then Graham puts post, uh, posted an image of Escape from Monster Island and it had Mac and Duke with Rooster there. So I was very glad I had him already included here in a heroic gun way. Um, I'm done drawing this piece. And of course we got uh, AWOL here. We got uh, Gomer here. Poor Gomer. He's getting attacked by uh, by the by, by the uh, by the alien uh, Krill. And what I did also is, like, if you notice these guys are kind of in the foreground because he's shooting forward. You got larger Krill here with more detail. As you go back, you have less detail. And then here you have itty bitty little Krill crawling up Gomer's body, causing him to lose his balance, and he's he's going to drop the rock. And then, of course, in the background here, we've got another monster, and he's shooting his uh, laser lightning breath, and he's just torching the Krill that must be on the side of the island. And then in the far, far back here, we, we're going to have some uh, skeletons of some of the creatures. So the only thing I haven't drawn yet is there's going to be a person here, uh, that's going to be a surprise. Um, I'm going to have to draw that character soon because of so much of this already being done. But uh, this will be the piece I think I'm going to work on when I do my videos uh, for a while, at least for the next like two, three weeks, maybe for the next month. Because I really want to get this done. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm enjoying it. Remember, today is a hot one. Even though it's cooler than most, it's still a hot day. Um, Stay cool. Remember, life is stressful. And uh, just take it all one dot at a time.